Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone. Um, before starting, I want to thank everybody because we just hit uh, 1700 likes today. Um, and that's that's a big thing. Uh, just we started, we're just starting out. So 1700 likes in a few months, that's, uh, that's amazing. We were never expecting this. Uh, to pick it up that quick so thanks to everybody who wa who's watching our videos uh, who subscribe to the channel uh, if you didn't subscribe and you watch please subscribe and be part of the 700 plus uh, at the moment um, and as always at least one video a day is what we are giving you and today is Monday November the 8th yeah it is um, it's international break and usually international break means uh, transfer news and some weird leak news uh, and considering it's almost January I think the transfer news will pick up even more um, in the couple of in the next couple of days uh, because it's getting closer uh, I know a lot of people expect us to do a lot of transfers I personally don't think we will do any transfers incoming um but we'll get into it um so the first bit of news is who else but Flaovic um I think on Sunday there was a report that Netfed and Arriva Bene liked the fact that um Flaovic took the ball out of the net when Quadrado scored and ran back to midfield uh, because he wanted basically to play to keep on and maybe tie the game um like <laughs> I know people some people love that story it doesn't make sense to me like is that what is the what the club is leaking or what some people are thinking uh, I just look at the fact that he's a great striker I also saw people basically playing him down uh, because he didn't do much against us again I said it so many times he played against one of the best defenders in Europe in the lake so it's no shame if you if you go if you get keep quiet like if you get basically played out of the game by the lake that's no shame I think that's that's quite normal um, so but the news is Flavi does not want to leave in January he wants to wait until the summer with Juventus to make a serious offer to bring him in again I've always said I don't see him leaving in January just looking at out of his perspective why would he do that uh, I think he is holding the cards in hand so Fiorentina wants to sell him that's clear that's obvious the reasons why are obvious but like if you just basically step in Vlaovic's shoes it doesn't make sense to leave in January uh, clubs are not certain what's going to happen in the summer Haaland, Kane, Lewandowski so for him it's much better just to wait uh, until better offers come in one of them could be Juve, could be us. So I never believed he was leaving, not for us, not for another team. I can be completely wrong and I will be shocked if he leaves in January for, let's say, an Arsenal um, or Tottenham. I don't know. Uh, but just in general, I never saw Vlaovic as an option for us um, in January. Then the news goes on to say, and that's why the title of the video is are we a bit um are we a bit yeah confused uh like do we even know what we what what we want as a club like in january in the summer um is there a clear plan because if you read the reports and again people say oh it's just reports but just also from good sources it seems like there's no there is a clear direction young if possible italian but if you then read the reports it doesn't always correlate and also uh, the reports are Allegri wants this, management want, wants that so but the report is a plan B for Vlaovic who is not even our player um, so or not even close to being one of our players so the report is last week during the Bayern Benfica game a scout that works for Cherubini was at the Allianz Arena to have a close look at Darwin Nunes again I have watched him play once and that's it uh, so I looked up his numbers uh, he came from the second division and his first season uh, with Benfica he did okay for playing coming from the second division 
uh, he's doing okay now. Like it's it, you know it's not there are not he's not putting up awful numbers, but it's not like they're amazing numbers. Again, it doesn't say a lot, but we need a starting top striker, and the next report will even make that worse. We need a starting top striker who's gonna provide at least 20 goals every season just in Serie A. That's what we need. That's not Morata and I'm pretty sure that will not be Darwin. Uh, it's like it's going from Morata to like you have Keane who's not going to score 20 goals. He's not. Kayo, I don't think like I can I'm pretty sure he's not going to do that. I'm, Morata we've seen that he's not going to do that. Uh, just in Serie A I'm talking. I think we need a top striker, like one focal point, a real number nine, that's going to provide the goals we need. Now, the next report is is a bit worrying for me. It's on Morata. So the report is, there have been contacts between Juve and Atletico for Morata to obtain a discount on the 35 million euro option we have to bring him again. <sighs> like the, I would do that if the discount was 20 mil. Then I would think about it. But if, even if the does this coin, this coin, the discount is five million euros, it's still too much. You already paid twenty million euros to loan him for two seasons. If you're gonna pay another thirty to thirty-five million euros for him, it's a big mistake. Like age-wise, wage-wise, and output. Like he's very inconsistent. Like he's one of the most inconsistent strikers I've seen play for us. Like he can score seven goals in a. In a and a brief spread stretch of games, and then he go can go missing for uh, seven games or six games or five games. Like that's not good enough. That's not a striker that's gonna help us basically reach the top again. And with top, I mean win the title without any real struggle, uh, compete in Europe and stuff like that. So that's worrying for me. Like, even a discount, I will not do that. Like, I will go for Vlaovic. And I know, and again, he's not worth 80 million euros. But let's see in the summer what's going to happen with uh, who's coming in for him. What's going to happen in Europe. Like, what will he will he push for a move to us? Are we making Champions League? Again, so the striker position, I think that's for, that's for later on. I think that's for, let's say... Uh, April, when we will see, are we going to make a top four finish? And then you will hear rumors on Haaland, on Kane, on Lewandowski, name it. So I think we just need to wait at the moment. Um, I understand the club basically looking for options, looking at Morata, a discount, looking at the Darwin, looking at Luka, uh, and Vlaovic. I understand that. But for me, it should be Vlaovic. Or else, I don't. I think we will struggle even next season. Like we need to invest in a striker and a midfielder. Um, but that's that. Talking about midfield, that's basically the next uh, bit of news, and that's also why we chose this title. Basically, uh, no clear plan? Question mark. So the news is uh, before I read the news. I know people are saying. Uh, we don't believe that. I will believe. I believe this report, like with a pinch of salt. I can see truth in it, but I also can see bullshit in it. So the report is saying, Allegri likes Witzel, which is a fact. However, Arriva Bene is not convinced with the player's age, wage profile. The club wants to bring in younger players again. That's basically the club's um, vision, like young players and if possible Italian so that's one now I've always said you need to back your coach so if the coach is asking for that player you should give him that player if possible otherwise you're basically hindering from him of doing his job to basically the best way possible doing his job the best way possible now I like Witzel. I've always said that, but I know the the wage, the asking price is maybe five million euros in January. 
I think something like that because he's free agent. But his age, his weight, and the injury he got again, he came ba- he came back from injury really fast. So that's positive for everyone basically who wants to bring him for him. But we should be going for younger profiles. We should be. Uh, so. I believe that part that the club prefers basically uh, to go for a younger profile profile but at the end of the day do we have money in the summer but especially in January now I'm not scared but I'm thinking that the club will say we will back down from our vision for this one time because it's January we don't have a lot of money no players are available. They will ask Allegri, do you really believe Witzel will improve your midfield? And if he says yes, I think the club will back him at the end of the day. If Ramsey is, be- is sold. Because you still need to basically move on a player. Uh, so that's what I'm thinking about it. Again, I think he will improve us. But not to the extent that it will change life drastically for us. And we will start winning game in, game out. I don't think that's not going to happen. But I do believe he will be a great player under Allegri. But again, it's for two seasons and then you're stuck again. Like, we need to build something different. Uh, and that's what I said to Julian many times in life. Because he believes we have a lot of money in January. Uh, excuse me. In the summer. I don't think we have. Um, and if we don't make Champions League football, we will have very little money. The money we will have is if we sell a big player like a Delic. So... That's why I think there's truth in the story, but also a bit of bullshit. Uh, now, moving on. Basically, no, not moving on. Staying on the midfield. It is Ramsey. The reporter saying uh, Gonzalo Villar, so for the Roma player, is an option to replace Ramsey during the January transfer window. Again, he's not playing for Roma. He wants, he wanted to leave. He he didn't get his le- uh, his transfer. I don't know. A very weird situation. I don't think this is true. I like Villar. I've always liked Villar, but I don't think he's like we need. We need even better than that. Like if you get Ramsey out, so I don't think I just put out the news because it's out today. Uh, there's also reports that Ramsey is okay with a transfer, even terminate his contract. Like if that's the case, the club will just terminate his, tra- his contract because if that's out there that Ramsey is willing to basically leave his wage alone just don't ask money if you will no other club is going to say we're going to pay the club just terminate your contract and come for us on a free so i don't really believe that sorry especially at this moment in time if that was were the case we already knew from uh, much better sources again so gonzalo villar i don't think it's true um yeah i just don't think it's true especially in january uh and then Basically, that to end the stream, Danilo, Danilo. Every time City is playing, Danilo is a topic of discussion on social media. It's getting boring again. The debate is who won the 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 trade, we or City. Is Cancelo a better player? Yeah, I mean, of course he is. I know. I'm not sure. Like again, he's not perfect. Like he struggles defensively. He struggles. Same for Hakimi. But that doesn't mean they're not great players. They're fantastic players. They're very good players. And I think Cancelo fits uh, Pep football or Pep Guardiola like a glove. So I think at the end of the day, maybe it was the best for everyone. I would have kept Cancelo. I have nothing against Danilo. I like Danilo. Uh, But it is what it is. I'm not basically having that debate. It's over. Uh, it's useless. It's pointless at the moment. Uh, but the report are saying events are thinking about offering Danilo a deal until 24. Danilo would like to retire as a player, basically a UV player. 24, I think that's too long. Uh, I don't want the club to do that. I would say wait until the end of the season and then give him to 23, one year extra with maybe an option the club can use, something like that. If uh, Danilo agrees, if he really wants to retire as a UV player. I wouldn't do that now to 24. That's my opinion. Again, I like Danilo. I have nothing against him. I think his first season he struggled. Uh, he picked it up in the second part of the season, in my opinion. Last season, he was one of our best players. 
this season he's solid again he's not Cancelo moving forward he isn't uh I think he's better defensively. People like like that more. Some people like Cancelo more. It's basically a debate where, with no ending. Uh, again, let's see what's going to happen with basically with that news. But just in general, I think this transfer, uh, this transfer, this international break, we will get a lot of transfer news. I think a bit more solid news. I think because it's getting closer. Uh, more stuff are will get leaked more. <clears throat> agents will basically leak stuff and things like that so that's international break uh, again let's see uh, I see that the title says match reaction that's a big mistake it's daily news show of course um, but yeah that's basically the news for today um, it's like always uh, some I think I would say some bullshit news some pretty good news and some recycled news and the Ramsey and the basically Morata thing is a bit recycled um, I expect to say news coming out tomorrow with some twists uh, but we talk about it that's what we do but that's all we have for today as always like the video subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one